Good morning, good morning, good morning. Another glorious day. It is wonderful, oh, so wonderful to know the living God. So wonderful just to know that he is alive, that he didn't disappear, he didn't run away from us, he doesn't ignore us, that God is good. It is such a lovely, uh, something to lean on. My pastor used to say, talk about how you'd fall back in Christ. You know, it's like your whole body just falls back and rests in him. And that is true. You fall back and you rest in him because he's good. Amen. I wanted to read this morning out of Colossians 1 and ch uh, chapter 1 and verse 9. I was praying this prayer this morning and it, it kind of stood out to me. So it says, for this reason, we also, this is Paul praying for his, uh, his partners and his friends, but it's also we can pray this. We can pray this for people we know. We can pray this for ourselves even. It's for this reason we also, since we did, the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, pleasing to all, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Strengthened with all might, who thank you, Lord, for your strength, according to his glorious power. That's, that's pretty strong. God's glorious power, strengthening you with all might. Enduring everything with perseverance and patience joyfully. Giving thanks to the Father who has enabled us, or another version says qualified us. We are qualified and enabled to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Right now, we're qualified. And then verse 13. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son. Not he will. He's not waiting until we hit the sweet by and by. He has delivered us from the power of darkness. You might say, but... But the power of darkness, but darkness has been ravaging my life, or darkness has been ravaging the earth. Well, criminals try to break the law. They're not so concerned about the law. They'd love to have the law work for them and just be, uh, be in charge. But they try to break the law. The devil is no different. In fact, he is the author of that. God has delivered us from the power of darkness. He'd like you not to realize that. He'd like you to lay down and say, oh, darkness is coming over me, and I haven't been delivered. He'd like you to think you're not a free man, but you are free. When you believe Jesus has, past tense, already delivered you from the power of darkness. We can stand up every day and say, I am delivered from darkness. I have been transferred into the kingdom of God's dear son. That's where I live now. In a kingdom where I am free from the power of darkness. Part of my role on earth is to stand and to expose and to execute God's word. I mean to speak it, to use my authority. So it might take some effort, it might take some uh, oomph, some chutzpah or whatever terms people use. Some, some difficulty even. Some, I don't like the word toil, but some toil. But... We have been delivered. We have a positional truth of deliverance. And in faith, we can cause that positional truth to become a practical reality in our lives. Amen. And then I'll finish it. It says, In whom, in his dear Son, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Amen. God is good, and we are free. Be blessed.